have what every moviegoer needs to watch a movie, popcorn. And Ashley says that her popcorn is really good. So I have to agree, it is very good. And we are now here in this beautiful theater. It's so pretty in here, Ashley. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the history, the year that this theater was built? I know we were talking off camera, and this theater has a great history, so many fun, interesting things that I would love to hear about, and I know our viewers would love to hear about. Oh, yeah. This this theater has a lot of um, things going for it. We we do have a ghost. Um, oh. So, yeah, we uh, it's it's been here since 1934. It was built there. In, um, as a theater um, before then in this place before it was a theater it was actually a mansion okay. but it was uh, kind of rebuilt and redone by the Crescent Amusement Company in 1934 and they actually built um, a bunch of different theaters some are called the Princess Theater the Capitol Theater and we have a sister theater in Maryville oh, okay. um, that's called the Capitol Theater built by the same people wow. Um, and the, the scandal behind that is, is that they tried to create an, a monopoly. Their plan was to kind of squeeze out all the other theaters and be in control. Yeah. Obviously, the government caught on and they shut them down. Wow. So a lot of the theaters that they built were closed okay. and demolished, but this one survived. survived. Yes. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just amazing that as old as it is and it looks this way, but you said that there it has actually had to be restored many times. Yes. So kind of tell us a little bit about why it had to be restored and kind of what happened. That's very interesting to me. Absolutely. To yeah, so after the um, Crescent Amusement Company was closed down, um, the theater was vacant for a long time. And then in the 70s, it was um, purchased, rebuilt, um, and kind of worked on, um, and it was owned at one point by the little theater company, mm -hmm. which is no longer around, but right. is sort of like, um, they, they kind of took it over and did a lot of stage performances and things like that. Um, at one point, it almost became a parking lot, and it was rescued again, and then a theater company came in and tried to do a huge overhaul of mm -hmm. the building, um, but unfortunately, they went into debt, and they were foreclosed oh. on. Um, so in about 2014, um, Tracy Solomon, who, mm -hmm. who's an, a local businessman, purchased the building and saved it again, wow. and he has put a lot of his own money into restoring um, and funding the theater. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we've, of course, as a nonprofit, which we are now, right. um, we take a lot of donations from the community. So we're very um, community involved mm -hmm. and um, funded a lot. A lot of the things that we've had done are funded by the community that's as well. Yeah. What's some yes. stuff that's happening? Some movies that are playing and things that they would love to come check out. Yes. So we have um, quite a few movies. We're showing 16 Candles in September. Oh, okay. We're doing uh, The Karate Kid. Oh, um, quite a few movies like that. And then um, our local theater guild, okay. uh, the Greenville Theater Guild, is coming to do a performance of Arsenic and Old Lace. Oh, wow. Um, and okay. that's a live performance, that's a stage awesome. performance. So you guys definitely go on the website, book your tickets now. Some fun things to do in September. Start off fall here at the Capitol Theater. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Ashley, thank you thank so you. much. And um, we will see you next time. And Absolutely. And we're going to actually throw it back to Roddy. Thank you all.